You know, I'm a, I'm a musician. I'm a jazz musician. I come out of the world of improvisation. I'm one of those jazz musicians who believes that one of the best things about jazz as a genre is it's been open to many different kinds of music. Where some jazz musicians will say it's only jazz if it has these certain chord changes and is based on these popular songs that were popular in the middle of the 20th century and came from classic Broadway shows. I would say, well, the best thing about jazz is look how these musicians have connected improvisation to a whole world of music. Already in the 1950s, Tony Scott was playing along with Japanese musicians and Indian musicians. And uh, then in the 1960s, John McLaughlin was playing super fast music together with tabla players and, and uh, sitar players from India. And then we have all kinds of improvised music made out of popular songs up into the present day where popular songs are often hip hop, just words and rhythms. And in jazz, you believe that in improvisation and suddenly getting there in the moment, you can create a kind of music you can't write down, you can't make it any other way besides people getting together, making music together that's unpredictable, that wasn't made before it's being played, where you're not sure where it's going to go. So I said, well, you could expand that beyond uh, human cultures and human uh, different cultures into the culture of animals. Just as I can sit down and uh, play some music that makes some sense with someone from Japan or someone from Africa who might not speak English, we can make music together that makes sense if we're open enough to being able to play with someone whose rules about music we don't know. We just find our way through playing. Why can't you cross the species lines to play along with mockingbirds and nightingales and humpback whales and singing crickets and cicadas? They're all making music Evolution has got them to a place they can make music, music very different than human music. But musically, we can connect to it, even when, when we may be unable to explain it, even when we can't understand it, we can join in with it and something meaningful might happen, something beautiful might appear.